Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. This is Erin. 안녕하세요 여러분, Erin입니다. And if it's your first time, please don't forget to subscribe. Turn on the notification so you don't miss out. Alrighty, so today is Friday. Do you guys remember exactly a week ago, my previous vlog? We had Arctic blast and it snowed a lot like I haven't seen that much snow in a while but local people here that I work with they told me it's nothing like when it snows it snows but that snow was still a lot for me especially it was like a first real snow I've seen since I moved here from Texas so we're just excited but, but it took forever for this snow to melt and the top of that the temperature dropped like crazy it was around like 10 degrees it feel like zero degree outside because of the wind the wind was freezing but y'all listen up climate change global warming is real this morning it was like 65 degrees fahrenheit equivalent to about like 18 degrees in celsius and yesterday it was warm and humid but the snow didn't melt Today it's gonna go up to roughly like 20 degrees Celsius, like around 70 degrees Fahrenheit. I mean, it's still warm outside. I've been watching people through this window and people are going to work with their shorts on or like short sleeves on. But look, we still got snow. Do you guys see the snow over there? It's all snow and ice still and it's hot as hell outside enough of me venting about this weather condition today's my day off i got a lot of stuff to do you know day off is never a day off because sometimes you feel like you got more stuff to do of course i have to plan the meal go get groceries and cook and clean and do the dishes oh and i have to do my school I talked to my husband the other day. We enjoyed our meal for last week. But the tenjangjigae, sogi pesu was also awesome. And we just finished everything yesterday. And my husband really liked the chicken lasagna. And guess what? He didn't even know it was chicken until I told him. And we decided that we're gonna have some banchan, which is like Korean side dishes. Pretty much just Korean food this week. Still, it's gonna be our budget meal. That's the reason why we're doing banchans. Because personally, I think banchans are the perfect budget meal. It's cheap, it has variety, and it lasts about a week in the fridge. I haven't thought about what I'm gonna make this week, so let's plan that real quick. I always tell my husband to tell me, like tell me what you want to eat because trying to figure out what we're gonna eat for the whole week, it gets old. I get stressed out. If you're living with your parents and your mom or your dad is cooking, like let them know your cravings, please. And if your husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, and your significant other is the one who cooks, let them know what you want to eat because it gets frustrated sometimes. Like now I cannot figure out what I want to make. I'll be back after I figure this shit out. It took me like 30 minutes to decide what I'm gonna make for this week. So I'm gonna make some bean sprout soup, kongnamulguk, and I'm gonna make musengche. It's a radish kimchi, but it's more like a salad. And I'm gonna marinate some daejigalbi. And then we're gonna have my husband's favorite is marinated perilla leaves. So I'm about to make the grocery list and then hit the road. I really don't feel like being outside today. So my goal for today is to just hit one grocery store and get it done and today i'm taking you guys to different korean markets since i have most of the condiments at home and like other ingredients i don't need much i just need to buy some meat and veggies and that's about it so let's go i wish somebody can drive for me <laughs> guys this is not the rain <laughs> it's the humidity so today i'm not going to whole foods market not the lotte, but I'm gonna go to H Mart. It's such a luxury for me that I have an option to go to different Korean market in the neighborhood. Guys, remember I used to drive like total six hours around trip to go get Korean groceries. I don't need to do that anymore. Okay, I just got here. Oh, it's so freaking hot. 
Okay, it came out to be around like a $92 today. He's not looking. Really? What are you doing? Yo, it's freaking hot. I need to turn the AC. Hot. It's hot. Let's go home and I will do some little H Mart grocery haul. Okay, I'm home now and let's see what I got today from H Mart. Ugh. I got some lettuce so we can make some stam with the kalbi. And I got some green onions, some Korean pepper, cucumber, bean sprouts, perilla leaves, onions. And I got some radish, but look, it's actually from Jeju. And an apple. I got some squid, but it's actually Korean squid. Same as a favorite snack. And I got myself some the sausage bread. It's a popular Korean snack. I grew up on this shit. I needed some gloves for cooking. And two packs of pork and pink sausage. If you know, you know. And I got some kimchi. And doo -doo. I know tangulu was trend in Korea. I don't know if it still is, but they had a shy musket and also mandarin orange. It's gonna be my snack today. This will be my lunch, this will be my snack. Sausage bread, my love. Mmm. This was four dollars. So it's like like ochan won, ochan samde won. I feel like you only like this if you grew up on it, you know, because it's kind of a weird combination. It has a sausage, onions, corn, some mayo, cheese, and ketchup. You know, only downside is so greasy, super greasy, but still good. I'm still eating. Tanguru time! You know, I don't know why all of a sudden this is like trend because I had this before I left Korea. When I went to Incheon in Korea, the Chinatown area, they were selling this. I heard the store is all over the places. Ooh, look! Looky! Oh, it's a sticky! Okay. One. Oh, too much sugar, guys. It's good, but damn. Like, people really eat this every day. It tastes like type 2 diabetes and heart disease. Good, but it's too sweet. Do people really snack on this that often? Like, y'all tell me. But the grape tastes good, though. You know, the shy muskets from Korea be expensive as here. Last time we got a shine musket, it was a one pack. I think we paid about like sixteen dollars. We're cold. Then fourteen grams of sugar. That. If any of my Korean subscribers who's going crazy over Tanghulu, don't be eating this every day, guys. Watch out for your health. I'm seriously worried about your health. I don't think I will ever buy this again. Your snack type now? So this is their dental chew by BarkBox. So BarkBox is like dog toys and treat subscription box. And these guys get toys every month. And I also ordered this, the dental chew, because you know, this guy stinks, but it helps. And it keeps his stinky breath out, which is good. And y'all, don't be talking about my Christmas tree. It's still here because I normally keep this until beginning of February. But I'm gonna put it away this weekend. That's one of my agenda. Stop, rude. Can you wait? Stay. Come on, you're drooling like crazy. Dang, come on.
Okay, now I'm ready to make all the panchan side dishes. Okay, what should I make first? Let's see. Okay, I should make galbi first. So I need an apple. I'm just gonna use a half of this and a small onion. Uh, I'm also gonna use a half of this. Blender, blender. I'm gonna take this for a snack tomorrow. Before I blend it, I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Add more water, one cup. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of Coke or Pepsi, whatever you have. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Put some minced garlic. Your choice of a sweetener, I'm, I'm using cane sugar. One, two, three. Sesame oil and some sesame seeds and some Korean black pepper. And we're gonna put some green onions. Alrighty, whisk. Make sure all the sugar dissolves in the mixture. That's all you need. It smells good. So if you're using like beef, you can also add a Korean pear. Okay, I'm gonna taste it. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yup. This is it. They're like really good quality too. This should be last a week for sure. It's all for my husband pretty much. I didn't expect it's gonna be this much. It's a lot of meat. And this is only what, $20 worth of meat. This is gonna be good. Okay, next, I'm gonna make some musengche. Pretty much like a radish kimchi salad. I put my stool down here so I can sit. But I feel like I'm about to do mukbang or something. And they always have some kind of drink next to them. People say you don't really need to like peel the radish, but ugh, I don't know. I feel like I have to, so I'm gonna peel it. Prepare a bowl. You know this is so good with the bibimbap. And guess what? I'm also making kosari. Oh sh! I have some kungnamul. Bibimbap is going to be my midnight food. And I'm not sharing. Uh, I'm gonna put some gochukaru, the Korean pepper flake. This one is actually store bought. It's pretty spicy. And this gochukaru is what my mom gave me. You're gonna mix the radish with the gochukaru first. Like this. I'm gonna put this. Garlic. Fish sauce, just a little bit of sugar, and then I'm gonna mix them together. Oh, it looks good already. Yes. Mm. Oh my god, this moo is so sweet. Mmm. Okay, Hanchan 2 is done. Remember when I was in Texas? It was so hard to get Genyip. But now that I'm living in a city, I can get this anytime I want. What a luxury. But I know Genyip uses a lot of pesticides, so make sure you wash them really well. Okay, I'm gonna prepare the Yangnyeomjang. One, two, three. Just a half spoon of sugar and finely chopped green onion and some fish sauce. I recommend two, but if you're not using the Korean one, use three or four. 
and then two tablespoons of soy sauce and five tablespoons of water two tablespoons of mirin half spoon of minced garlic and half tablespoon of sesame oil and some sesame seed mix them well okay I'm gonna drain the water It also has a break. Look. Ah! So make sure you use three leaves at a time. And then put yangyang. Put the sauce. This is one of the easiest side dishes you can make. Fast, easy, healthy, and so delicious. This is the last one, so I'm just gonna dump all the sauce on top of it. It marinates really quick, so Banchan 3 is done. The next one will be Gosari Namul. But we're gonna simmer this for over an hour, so I guess I can make the sauce ahead of time. You will need a cup of anchovy broth. We're gonna cook this in the microwave for one minute and then 30 seconds. Making panchons and recording video. Mm. Yeah. Huh? There's a karaoke and barbecue and barbecue on base that our squadron is doing. I guess it's like a fundraiser thing that they're doing. When? It's tonight. Oh my god. Tonight from six to nine PM. Six to nine? If you need another body to be there to support, I have to go. Okay. So you come home, get ready, and we, we have to bounce. I just need to change. Oh, love you too. Bye. This is the type of that I don't like. Like, you guys just heard us talking over the phone. Uh, my husband just got off work, but he said we need to go to this event from his work. Even though I'm working tomorrow and today is my resting day, I'm still gonna go support. I'm gonna make the kosari real quick before we go. I need a little bit of minced garlic. And for this recipe, I'm actually using two different types of ganjang, uh, the soy sauce. This one is just a regular ass soy sauce that I use with everything. And this one is it's called kukkanjang. So this soy sauce is for making like clear type of soup. So I'm gonna use three kukkanjang. See, it's very light, but it's very condensed. So it's saltier. Two, three, and then one, two. One tablespoon of mirin, one spoon of syrup, and one tablespoon of perilla seed oil. If you don't have it, just use sesame oil. It doesn't matter. And this one has a more nutty aroma. So this is the sauce. So I just got done getting ready. It's five o'clock. I need to stop everything and then go support. It's been a while since I wore my Jordans. So I'm gonna wear it today. I feel like nobody's here.
I mean. Let it go. <laughs> it was fun and tteokbokki was really good. I need to go home and finishing up my kozari. We just came back from the event. It was so funny. It was fun. I didn't want to go, but I actually had a really good time. And you see, I tried to catch my husband singing because he hates singing. It was funny. I need to finish up kosari. They've gotten bigger like this. Haha. <laughs> Guys, I got tired real quick, so I'm, that's why I'm not talking. Okay, I'm gonna cover this until it starts boil, and then once all the juice evaporates, then we're good. There we go. I'm gonna put some finely crushed Corilla seeds. Okay guys, it's almost 9 o'clock. Uh, but I finished pretty much everything. Like I would say maybe 80%. I just need to make some soup. So I'm gonna go take a shower, wash my face off get ready for tomorrow and I'll be back whenever I get off work. I'm working 9.30 to 6 tomorrow. I'll be okay. I'll see you tomorrow. So next day I made some bean sprouts soup and I also prepared bean sprouts on the side for my bibimbap. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Mix it well. This gochujang looks spicy. Sorry, I just woke up and I had a pinba for breakfast. It was delicious. And I gave my husband a bite as well and he loved it. And for dinner, we cooked the marinated pork. I prepared and all the panchans that I made. It was good. It really hit the spot. Anyways, thank you so much for watching my video today and I'll be back with another video soon. Until then, peace. Thank you.